This homecoming game was close, but not close enough. The Lobo football team suffered yet another loss at University Stadium today, where even the most devoted fans are running high on frustration. News 13 Scott Daniels was at the game too. He is live at University Stadium with what the fans had to say this time. Scott. Tim, today's crowd was the smallest crowd that this stadium seen since 1992. Here's the attendance numbers. Let me tell you, 16,313 people. That's it. That's 6,000 fans less than last year's homecoming game against UTEP. Now, the game itself, it was a heartbreak loss, sure, and the fans are getting after Coach Loxley more than usual. Some are saying it's time for him to go. And uh, if the team cannot be competitive against Division I teams, it's time to give someone else another shot. Since becoming head coach of the Lobos, the team's only 2-26. and 26. Now it seems only the diehard fans are coming out to the games. I really think Lobo Nation has to come together and either figure out what they want to do with this head coach. People are booing him. Come on, it's not the kids. Give them a break. We just got beat on both sides of the ball by a Division 2A team. They scheduled this team purposely for homecoming, and obviously we couldn't pull off a win. I now, Sam Houston stayed as Division One AA school, but they're good. They're undefeated and rank in the top 20th. Now, that 1992 team for the Lobos, they had three wins that year, and still people weren't showing up for the games. And that's one more than what we have under Coach Loxley right now in the last three seasons. Next week, though, they're expecting a much larger crowd to come for the New Mexico State game. That'll be a good rivalry. Back to you, Tim. All right, thank you, Scott. The Lobos have cracked one top 10 list this season. This week, UNM was listed number one in the list of ESPN's worst performing teams. Lawrence Gill